Uh, John, that was always going to be a difficult afternoon on paper and so it proved to be on the pitch as well. Yeah, it did. I mean, it, it sounds a bit mad. I asked the lads to start on the front foot and um, I thought we started right for the first five or six minutes and then the first goal goes in, you know, um, it just puts you on the back foot again, you know, we, we keep conceding these early goals and, you know, and then you just want a response from the players. So, difficult, as you said, yeah, difficult. In, in a 4-0 defeat, sometimes a, a side doesn't play very well that's on the wrong end of it. But that wasn't the case for your side today. There was plenty of effort there. Yeah, there, there was loads of effort, Anthony. Yeah, I, I thought that for myself. The lads didn't stop, you know, um, I think it was 27 minutes and, and those had a bit of a chance and the keepers paddied it to one side. But I, it, was, it was big today for the, the full-backs and the wingers in both teams because they've got two very good players in Molyneux, Adeluca, and we've got two very good wide players ourselves in, um, in Sean and Jack Nolan. And it was a case of um, you know our full backs and their full backs on the, on the game. Sean got in a couple of times. Jack got in inside and uh, put some good decent balls in. But they were more effective today. You know um, similar types of goals where they are going past it in the byline and cutting the back and, and there's lads in there. And you need to stay with runners. We simple simple as that. We need to stay with runners. But I think it was just um, it wasn't for laugh, lack of effort. Um, they just had a little bit more quality today, and and, and that, I think that was the deciding moment in the game. Looking at the opposition and where they're at. Are they now where you aspire to be in, in maybe next season? Oh, 100%. Yeah, we're going to push to see how far we can go, uh, take this, this the squad how far we can go. Um, but yeah, you can, as you say, you've just got to keep sort of asking the questions, keep giving them the right information, uh, which which they got today. But sometimes, as I said, quality is, uh, is, is just gets on top of you. Positives. Nice to see Liam Coyle back and part yeah, of your squad. It was great getting Coyle back on the pitch. Um, you know, wanted to get some minutes into his legs as well. So, you know, that'll do him the world of good. And uh, as I said to the lads, now we've just got to focus on, on the next game. Simple as, draw the line under this one. We'll have a look at it um, on, on Monday um, and then we'll just we'll, we'll go on to the next game. Yeah, you talk about the next game and the one after that, it gets no easier, does it? Mansfield and Stockport, I think one of those has celebrated promotion already today. The other one's going for it as well. It's, they're not easy games, are they? No, they're not. But that's what you're in the game for. You want these challenges. And I'm sure the lads will be looking forward to going to Stockport, to going to Mansfield and Stockport. So we're looking forward to it. I just think, um, you know, hopefully we can get a better outcome. For you personally and your team, what's the target between now and the end of the season? Is it just to finish as high as you possibly can? Well, it is. You want to pick up as many points as you can. I mean, we pick nine points up, great. So we have asked the lads that. You know, it was no different today. As I said, just sometimes, you know, you've just got to hold your hand up and say um, there was better quality on the pitch at times and certain moments when someone's going past someone and cutting someone back, uh, cutting it back and... People not following runners, they don't mean to not follow runners, but you know, ball watching maybe and stuff. So, you know, you just got to hold your hand up and say, and applaud that play from them, you know, and um, hopefully we can learn from that and we can do better. And last one from me, presumably you won't want any of your players to think that this season is done and dusted and they're on the beach. You want them to give everything between now and the end of the season. 100%, Anthony, they have to give everything. Not just for me, for themselves and for this club. 100%.